Greetings, everyone. Father Greg Labus here from St. Joseph Church in Edinburgh. It is with great joy that I announce that Bishop Flores has authorized the churches to be uh, open and resume public masses this Monday, May 25th. The bishop wants us to remind you that the, dispensa the dispensation from the obligation to assist at Mass is still lifted. He will not reimpose the obligation probably for some time to come. Therefore, he wants to remind all of us that if you are sick, if you're over the age of 65 or have health issues or are a caregiver, he strongly, and I too am strongly encouraging you to still stay at home and watch the Mass and join us uh, virtually on the live stream Mass that we will continue to um, uh, make available to all our parishioners. We're also recommending that children under six years old not uh, be brought to Mass at this time. Um, as I alluded to, Sunday Mass will continue to be live streamed and uh, you'll still be able to see that on Facebook, uh, YouTube. Uh, you just go to St. Joseph Edinburgh uh, and uh, you will be able to access uh, the live stream Masses or whenever you choose to uh, join in and uh, you can uh, access those Masses at any time. Because of the strict protocols that the bishop is uh, uh, encouraging and really wanting us all to observe, uh, we are going to make some changes in the mass schedule uh, as we reopen. Daily masses uh, will make a bit of a change in the schedule. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday will remain at 7 a.m. However, on Tuesday and Thursday, we're moving the Mass to 5.30 in the afternoon. For those that may not be able to come on Sunday but would like to come during the week and 7 a.m. may not work, so just giving us a little bit more flexibility, uh, Tuesday and Thursday the Mass, the daily Mass will be at 5.30 p.m. The Sunday Mass schedule um, is largely the same, however, the Vigil Mass on Saturday I'm moving to 4.30 p.m. Uh, Sunday Mass schedule will be 9 a.m., 12.30 p.m., and 6 in the evening. The 12.30 Mass is now going to be changed to Mass in Spanish. So there will be no longer an 11 o'clock Mass or a 7.30 a.m. Mass for the time being until we start uh, getting uh, back uh, to the schedule. So uh, for, uh, as we open up again, uh, we're changing the 11 o'clock Spanish Mass to 12.30. When we add uh, uh, the other Masses later on, God willing, uh, the mass, that Mass uh, that was in Spanish will be in English. So 12.30 will now be the Spanish Mass uh, for those that uh, would like to choose to worship in Spanish. We are following the protocols that the bishop gave us, uh, and one of those protocols is that we will only be able to accommodate 25% of our capacity, which here in, at St. Joseph's is about 75 people, more or less. Uh, we have teams that have already been formed from, to that will be serving each of the Sunday masses, and one of the team members will be keeping a count so we do encourage you if, you, if you are choosing to come and be with us uh, live, that you try to get here early. The church will be opened uh, about 45 minutes before mass time because we will also be doing the Liturgy of the Hours. So on Saturday evening, uh, first Vespers will be at four o'clock. So we'll open the church uh, 15 minutes before and those that are coming later just for Mass will still be able to come in, but we will have um, Vespers at four o'clock on Saturday. Uh, morning prayer or lauds will be on Sunday morning at 8.30 prior to the nine o'clock Mass. So the church will be opened at 8.15. Uh, at the 12.30 Mass, the uh, church will be opened at noon. 
And for the evening mass uh, at six, there will be second vespers at 5.30, meaning that the church will be opened at 5.15. Uh, we're only going to be having one entrance to the church opened. It'll be the front south entrance. Uh, you will be able to uh, exit the church. Obviously, the door, the push bars will allow you to leave the other entrances, but we're controlling your entrance into the church, the front south entrance of the church um, will be open. When you enter, we are expecting that every person coming into the church will be wearing a mask. Uh, you will be, there will be a counter there counting how many are coming in. Uh, there will be a box in the narthex of the church. Should you wish to bring your donation, whether cash or your envelope, you can deposit it in the box. And then there will be a team member there to help you sanitize your hands with sanitizer. Um, the pews will be marked. We will, uh, households may sit together in one pew and there will be a pew skipped. And uh, two people may sit on each end and um, the aisles will be marked so that we may practice social distancing as you're coming up to communion. Uh, I think it'll be obvious. I think many of us have already experienced this by when we went to HEB and we had to stand six, uh, six feet apart. So as we're coming to communion, we'll do the same thing. The floor will be marked so that you know where you may stand. Uh, the pews will also be marked. Uh, instructions for communion, I'll do that during Mass so that you can kind of get the hang of it. It'll, it'll be easy. Uh, and as we're going through this, uh, it, you'll be uh, get more accustomed to doing these things. I know we've had to shift a lot of our uh, thinking. Uh, uh, the way we do things uh, has changed, not only here in the church, but everywhere. So I do uh, ask you to please be patient. Um, we are, we're going into something that we've never had to do before. So it's gonna require patience on the part of all of us. So uh, I do uh, encourage you, if you choose to come to Mass, re remember, if you are feeling ill, please stay home. You're not obliged to come to Mass yet. Uh, that probably won't happen for quite a while. If you are a caregiver, you consider the health of those that you're caring for. If you have chronic health issues, please consider your health uh, and don't take unnecessary risks. Uh, or if you're uh, advanced in age, as the scriptures say, they don't say you're old, but they will say you're advanced in age. If you're advanced in age, consider that you're more susceptible to this virus. So we want to do everything we can to protect all of us so that we may be kept safe. But we are very grateful to God that we're at the point now where we can open the church again and uh, celebrate the Eucharist publicly. So God bless you all, and I will look forward to seeing uh, hopefully many of you on Monday morning at 7 a.m.